Ladies and gentlemen, uh, K Kim here. Welcome to the daily update. Uh, market is uh, down about 2% here on the S&P. It looks like uh, the bears finally brought it down. Uh, that is something that um, you know we talked about that bears would want to see a big down gap if they really want to see a momentum. Instead, we didn't see a big down gap. We it looks like uh, we kind of hung around. We we fizzled lower. We can see right here, so you can see that was the. Um, so that's the first hour, second hour, third hour, fourth hour, fifth hour, sixth hour. So you can see towards the end of the last hour, we saw a big decline. It looks like what it looks like is though. Uh, in where we're seeing, we've been seeing a lot of this happening. It looks like that 290, a lot of short-term traders, uh, you know, a lot of people were possibly going long in that vicinity, placed their stop, majority place, uh, majority people placed their stop probably below it and just taking stops out. Uh, that's what it looks like. And then the triggers, probably there's a lot of uh, triggers uh, with the short signal to, to get into short side placing a short bet underneath that 290. And so I think that's kind of what caused that downturn. Um, so first, let's talk about this. So there was a gap. There was this gap. So both of that gap got filled. And that's a good sign for the bears. Bears wanted to fill down uh, those up gaps as many as they can, right? And then there was that smaller gap right here that also got filled. So bears were managed to fill this gap, and that's something they did well. They filled that entirety of that gap. We hung around there. We hung above that for a while. And then we filled that little down gap here in the middle part of, the middle part of it at 286. You can see I put that line there, 286. However, we still got another gap at 284. You see that gap right there? So, so this was where it closed, and then this is where it gapped up. So here, bears got, bear got some momentum going on here. Seller got some momentum. They must keep this momentum to the downside. So what they need to do is they need to gap it down, hopefully turn that into an island top, and then bring it down because we have this down, we have this uptrend here. Remember the fan line we talked about? And that's the uptrend. You can see that there's support, support, support. Every single time when we hit that level, market bounced, market bounced, market bounced, right? So if we continue to drift lower tomorrow, and if we fill this gap, the gap fill is going to act as support. We have the rising uptrend support there and that moving average in that vicinity, uh, vicinity as well. That moving average actually comes all the way from here. You see that that, that pink moving average, long-term moving averages in that vicinity. Currently sitting on this moving average though, we've been actually kind of following that moving average pretty much every single video we've been talking about. You see that here here and here we're slightly underneath it so so bears got a lot of momentum here just from today's move and they want to continue in that if not you'll be surprised how quickly the sentiment the short-term sentiment can change because as you can see let's zoom out a little bit you can see every time when it seemed like the bear because we saw you know people and obviously bear, we talked about these yesterday right Bear is going to argue about the double top, right? And we saw something similar here. We saw something what it looked like potentially a double top. And then bears brought it down. And bears brought it down pretty hard. This was April 21st. And this was a pretty sizable gap down. And that actually was an island top. And then we continued lower. And we just hung around there for a day or so. And the next day we gapped up. And how quickly that sentiment change. So we cannot forget the fact that we are in this environment that we, and bears been trying ever since, I think ever since early April, that every um, severe downturn, every effort that was made by the sellers were met with more, 
you know, more furious, bullish reversal uh, activities. Because you can see, the reason I say that is because we've been continuing to cultivate higher lows. So even though it looks, it's, it's, it looks like, you know, we get a move and then bears bring it down and then all of a sudden bulls bring it right back up. But when the bulls do bring it back up, they seem to gain momentum. And that's why we have these higher lows. While the bears have not not seen any kind of momentum yet, looking at things in more of a longer term perspective, we are still in a uptrend. So we still, looking at things longer term now, we still want to give benefit of doubt to the buyers. And I've been saying this since early April. But in the short term, I think the bears do have, sellers do have momentum going. Um, good job, pay, uh, you know, filling this gap. We are below this short-term moving average. That moving average has been acting as support for, you know, a week or so, or a couple days, or a week, right? And then um, we're near that um, moving average here. Um, so you can see that that moving average has been acting as pretty solid support. Sometimes it trades around it, like just in this day here. May 4th, we gotten below it, but initially we got right back up. So in the short term, I want to give short term, right? Just just what's happening last couple days. I want to give benefit of the doubt to the sellers. But in the longer term, in the mid to longer term, looking at this 65 minute chart, I want to still give benefit of the doubt to the buyers, right? So just to reiterate, bears want to continue in this um, selling pressure. The best bet will be gapping it down, gapping it down because again, that that rising uptrend support, right? That rising uptrend support and the gap area and that pink moving average in that vicinity, we go down there to fill it. That's going to provide a strong support. You will see a lot of dip buyers coming in buying that dip. If not, you know, if buyers step in here, even now where we're at at 286.55 is also support because that's a gap area. We got that moving average hanging around in that vicinity. And, you know, we got these gaps got filled because it happened before. Remember this gap? There was a gap here. That gap got filled. Bulls just gapped it up next day. Remember that? And so, and, and here, um, here's that moving average there. We saw big downturn and then bulls just gapped it up next day right we saw another gap down pretty big downturn bulls just gapped that up again next day after fizzling a little bit so bears want to continue in that fashion in this manner that we've seen here in this this day and and yesterday and today want to continue in that because you bears don't want the buyers to hang around we've been talking about that you let buyers kind of hang around you know, let them find a little bit of momentum, they tend to bring it up. So it will be important to see if Bears going to let Bulls hang around again uh, before Bulls bring it up or gap it down and then trying to come to fill this gap at 276 or they continue lower, fill this gap, there's strong support in that vicinity there. Let's look at the oscillator here real quick. So oscillator, we are curling down with the move that we're seeing here. So you can see um, it looks like potentially we may get back down to the bottom of its span, right? The bottom of its span. So looking at this oscillator, there's more room to be made to the downside. So bears like to see this. Bears like that. The fact that this oscillator is curling down, this oscillator is pulling back and looks like it's eyeing on the at least bottom of its span. And so bears challenge is Bears, um, you know, objective is they want to utilize this uh, momentum that they got just the last hour of trading today. And they want to continue to pressure the buyer. They want to continue to sell. They want to continue to crush it down because bears cannot let bulls hang around. Hey, you let bulls hang around, they're going to find some momentum. So let's see how the bears deal with this level going into tomorrow. And I'll come back tomorrow. We'll follow up. We'll go from there, right? You guys have, uh, you guys enjoy your uh, evening and good luck trading tomorrow.